A number of people on Facebook and Twitter have asked about my vapour blasting setup and since I am swapping the water out on the cabinet this would be a good moment to show what I have done to turn this standard 220 litre um, generic blast cabinet into a vapour blaster. Um, if you're going to do this this is the cheaper style. These come flat packed. You can see that the top is bolted together. This is the better version where the entire upper assembly is welded and the hopper is also welded so there's only the one joint and I leave out all the gaskets, all the grids um, and just silicon them together to prevent leaks and uh, then the grid or, or the mesh just sits in the top of the hopper there's a couple of minor mods inside which are helpful but not essential you see it doesn't seal well most of this mess is from opening the door but we're out on sub base so it really doesn't matter so the secret of a vapour blasting setup is what's in this bin underneath the cabinet and it's really very simple this is a dirty water pump um, cellar pump, sludge pump, whatever it's designed to be able to pump solids up to about 30 millimeter. Um, a lot of them say not to be used with abrasives um, the glass beads really aren't that abrasive there's basically spheres if you were using it with aluminium oxide then yeah the pump might not live very long this is a stainless steel pump these run just over a hundred pounds from Machine Mart you can find them a little bit cheaper from other suppliers um, but most places like Screwfix and uh, Tool Station do a slightly less powerful pump uh, plastic casing but I think they had them on special for example at about 45 pounds and if you're only doing sort of hobby level stuff you can probably just treat them as consumable one tip though if you're not using the cabinet once a week come and run the pump to stop the uh, the seal seizing up but you can see down there um, the standard elbow that comes with the pump which reduces down to a one inch pipe there is then a T and the output of the T is this pipe that spirals around the pump and is cable tied to the base of the pump and the pump is on about a two inch fifty millimeter riser and the main output of the pump is going to swirl the water around very vigorously to get the glass bead media up into suspension and turn it into a slurry so you can see that there's a T-piece and the output of the T-piece then goes to this uh, smaller bore pipe I think this is a half inch bore from what I remember yeah, yeah 13 millimeter um, and that just runs up into the cabinet through the base of the hopper which is completely open the hopper doors missing so if you have a look inside the cabinet the only modifications I've made are this piece of rubber held on with adhesive tape that uh, helps keep liquid away from the, the seal on the side here See if we can get this to stay open and you can see I've got this 45 degree angle this is just some PVC plastic siliconed in to get rid of the ledge you can see down the front here it's a little dark but the camera's coping we've got the, the media just building up on horizontal surfaces and if you've got the original ledge you end up with a lot of media just built up and sitting on that ledge and 
this is simply the gun that came with the cabinet plumbed in exactly the same way except that this is supplying the slurry so when you turn the pump on I'm getting a continuous flow of the slurry coming out the nozzle when I pull the trigger and add the air I am then getting the, the actual blast action and this is all you need to make a cabinet work you don't need a vacuum extraction you don't need a wash down system or a wiper on the window these are all things that would make the cabinet easier to use that would increase productivity I just let off the trigger and wash the window down with the slurry um, and that usually clears it quite effectively the mist does tend to build up into the cabinet but I just take a break of a couple of minutes and let the mist settle out and then the cabinet is um, clear enough for me to continue working um, you know the light is in there that came with the cabinet just because I haven't actually bothered to remove it I don't use that light at all I think a lot of people are going to a lot of effort to fit lights inside the cabinet and it's a waste of effort let me shut the door and I'll take the cabinet off its prop lower it over the bin and we'll have a look at the the lighting and wiring setup. So I simply have these little, I think they're 10 watt LED floodlights, um, which are actually outdoor rated, but I sit them on top of the glass so they don't get exposed to um, any of the liquid, any of the dust, and I can. You know, I can move them about on the glass if I want to concentrate the light in a particular area. But this means they're obviously incredibly easy to maintain. Um, very easy setup, no messing around with them inside the cabinet. Uh, they're wired together and are one of the plugs on this power strip, the other one being the pump. And I have a 30 milliamp UK standard protected outlet and I simply turn that on it runs the light and the pump and then I can just pull the trigger on the gun and I have a cabinet that functions loads of things I could do to make it better loads of things I could do to make it um, more productive so I wouldn't have to take a break but at the moment I'm just trying to get on with stuff and the amount of effort it would take to make those improvements wouldn't at the moment reap me the benefits to make it worthwhile so you can so easily convert a standard cabinet to function as a vapor blaster um, there's loads of uh, YouTube channels which go into much greater depth than all of the things that you can do um, you know to put a, a a custom nozzle that you would run on a foot pedal um, or a solenoid because the gun is going to fail sooner or later due to the fact it's in a wet environment but it's actually been holding up really well so far and they're about 12 pounds to replace so at the moment again it's an improvement I just don't feel is currently worth the time it would take to make so I hope that shows my setup and if you want to create your own you're able to do so.